Hello ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here for DigitalDojos.com and today we're going to be taking a look and overview of Scapple. So Scapple is a utility made by the folks over at Literature and Latte. It is a tool that allows you to quickly record ideas and then organize them as you see fit. As they say on their site, if you've ever scribbled on a piece of paper making lists, charts or whatever, then you already know how Scapple works. And we're gonna get more into that. It's available for OS X and Windows. Again, it's made by the same folks who've made the amazing writing tool that is Scrivener. Now this tool itself retails for $14.99, so $15, highly affordable. However, they offer a free trial and their free trial policy is something I highly, highly appreciate. They get it done right. It's 30 days of actual usage. So it gives you all the time in the world to figure out if this app is for you. Like I said, Scapple is just a tool that allows you to quickly record your ideas and then organize them in whatever way that you want to organize them. There is no wrong way to use Scapple. That's what I really like about the app because you can use it. In my case, I use it a lot for project management recently. You can use it for something like, you know, making a family history or family tree. You can use it for charts and, and you know, infographics or what have you. There's so many different ways to use Scapple, but the main premise is you have this blank canvas, you have this virtual piece of paper in front of you, and you get to essentially do a brain dump of your idea or thoughts and put them on this piece of paper, organize it as you go, organize it after the fact with all the tools that they offer in its interface. And the interface itself is super simple and easy to use. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the app here. Here's Scapple, like I said, super clean. The basic premise is here you can double click to add a note anywhere. You can drag notes onto another to make connections. I highly recommend taking the time to learn some of the keyboard shortcuts. For example, command enter will allow you to create a new note right away. So let's go ahead and create a note here. I'll call it Digital Dojo. So let's say I want to kind of showcase the overall model of Digital Dojo's, the independent content network here. I can go ahead and create other notes here. So I'll say we cover technology, business, and uh, lifestyle here. So lifestyle. Now, if I highlight these three right here, I can just go ahead and drag them onto Digital Dojo's and I've gone ahead and made connections with each of the notes here. So you can see now they have this dotted line connecting them here. I can highlight all of them and move them around as I please. No matter where I move Digital Dojo's, you can see the connection still exists between them. If I wanna undo the connection, I can just, again, redo the same process there and drag it over. So that's the idea of, you know, connecting ideas as you go, kind of, you know, visualizing something that you're trying to lay out. However, keep in mind, you can do this, you know, whenever you can just kind of, again, go for the brain dump approach and then organize everything after the fact. It really is up to you and how you want to use it. Now, you're not only limited to text. Scapple supports so much here. It supports multiple image files and formats. It supports text formats, or so you can import text documents. Uh, you can even import uh, certain math-based equations or formulas, so that's really handy too. So for example, I have a logo here, this digitaldojos.png. I can just drag it in, let go, and just like that, Scapple has imported it, and I can now adjust this element right here. I can scale it down. So let's say I wanted to delete this note right here and just replace it with a logo. Let's pull my logo up here, move everything down a bit pull the logo up and then we'll connect these three again to the logo here. So just like that, we now have it all connecting to said logo. You'll notice if I highlight a note here, you can see I have the inspector pulled up, which allows you to adjust the note style. So bold, italics, font size, you can even adjust the font itself. You can change the document settings as well. So the background color, you can adjust that. If you don't like that tan background, you can go with a plain white, plain black, you know, whatever you see fit. You can even get creative. I've seen people use like uh, image-based background. So for example, if you want to change it to like a chalkboard or a, a whiteboard or a piece of paper, then you can do that as well. So you get really creative there. And, and again, you're only limited by really however in whatever you want to put on your canvas. At that, you can right click here to get more options. So you can see you can adjust borders, you can adjust note styles, you can disconnect connections here. You can auto align and fit and distribute the notes to make it easier to organize. So let's see here, I can right click and then apply the note style, the blue bubble and all of these will fall under uh, the blue bubble now. So these are the three categories that we have on digital dojos that we cover, but I have also gone ahead and taken the liberty of taking some other notes earlier. So let's go ahead and import some of these other things here. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in what I had from a previous project. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and imported some of the elements I've had for the previous project that I was working on, and it's all scattered here. And the thing, unlike when you scribble on a piece of paper or a napkin or what have you, you don't really have the option to rearrange it and adjust it and organize it. With Scapple, you do. That's the power of obviously this being a digital app. So with that, let me go ahead and just kind of show you how I would go about organizing it, giving it certain properties and using some of Scapple's features to get this all cleaned up here.
So as you can see, just like that, I've gone ahead and organized things here. And this is just a rough example. Again, your projects can be much more vast, much more simpler than this. It can have more elements, more images, more connections, borders. You know, there's so much that you can really do with Scapel. This is just a quick example here. And again, from here, you can do all sorts of stuff. You can go ahead and zoom into it here. So I can use the zoom functionality to go ahead and, you know, easily go ahead into certain parts if it's a chart or if it's a really vast canvas here. The thing is you have this sort of infinite layout to kind of work with. You can scroll left and right. You can really kind of just work with this as you see fit. And you can see at all times how many notes you actually have labeled out here on your overall project. Now going into the menus at the top here, you have a couple options. You can go ahead and see for updates, uh, check your preferences and registration here. You can adjust overall preferences as far as general, new notes and new shapes, kind of the default options with those. You have the ability to go ahead and go into your file options and save the projects, duplicate them, and of course export them out here into multiple formats. So you can do PDFs, plain text formats, images, outline maps. You have so many different support here for however you wanna export it. Um, you can also go ahead and change certain things with the editing options, the view options, your notes options, formatting options, of course, uh, and the window options. So you have so many different things to explore within Scapple. I'm really just scratching the surface, but I just want to give you an overview, an idea of how you can take your ideas and then throw them out and then organize them however you see fit. Again, this is a really great tool that I've personally been using in my workflow as of late to make charts, whether they're simple charts like these, to kind of just visualize something that I, I see in my head or has something that I've taken notes on previously and then coming back to my computer and just recording it all out so I can save it in a digital format. Again, there's just so many different options here. Be sure to check it out. Again, you can head over to literatureandlatte.com to check out their products. I'll leave links in the video description down below. If you're a user of Scapel, let me know what you think down in the comments below. How do you use it? If you're not and you want to try it out, why would you use it? You know, what are you going to use it for? Love to hear your feedback down below. Thanks for watching.